What's up guys, Caleb here, and today, or tonight, we are going to be discussing three new LEGO Star Wars sets that have been revealed, and I believe that they're all coming out April 26th, I want to say. I'm pretty sure that is the date that these three LEGO Star Wars sets are released. First up, we have maybe my favorite, actually, which is weird, which is the Death Star Trench Run. Now, this is one that will be costing $60, and people think this is really, really overpriced, and... I don't see it. This is a great price. I really, I don't think it's underpriced. Like, Lego could have made this 70 or 80, and I still would have, like, I would have been down. I just don't understand how this is supposed to be overpriced. Like, it just, it seems like an incredible price. $60 honestly seems like the best price of this entire mini wave of sets. I don't get why people think this is overpriced. Anyhow, the set consists of essentially a trench run, which uses just a ton of greebling, which looks excellent. Like, it's so much better than the little promotion that we got in 2020, and it looks really, really good. I don't understand how people are hating on this one. I especially really like the TIE Fighters with the little bullet shooting out, but my favorite part is the mini X-Wing. This is the best, like, tiny little X-Wing that I think we've ever gotten. I absolutely love the tiny little R2-D2 print that we got in there. Like, that is just freaking adorable. Like, I love that. And I also really like the use of, like, the, I believe it's a, like, diamond piece in pink as the thrusters on the back. That looks really, really good. There's a cool quote on the bottom that says the force is strong with this one, and this really nice little black border along it. Overall, this might honestly be my favorite of the wave. It's one that I might actually want to pick up. Like, I honestly think that it just, it looks really, really good, and I don't like how people are sort of hating on it. Like, I think it's really good. I don't know. Next up, we have the training on Dagobah set, which has exactly 1,000 pieces, which I don't think I've really seen many LEGO sets at all, and will be retailing for $80, which I originally thought was going to be a little bit overpriced, but now looking at it, I can sort of understand the price, I think. Obviously, we have Yoda out front, as well as a really cool sort of Luke, and my favorite part of this set is probably the R2-D2. This R2-D2 is covered in mud, and we can also see from another image that he does have back printing, which is a first for R2-D2. And I expect to see it in every other R2-D2 coming because, you know, it just it looks really, really good. And Lego's stepping it up, which I definitely like. I really, really love his sort of, like, swamp area with this monkey green water and that has a sunken X-Wing in it. And I just, it looks, like, really swampy and it's honestly giving me, like, Shrek swamp vibes. What are you doing in my swamp? Honestly, at first, I was really excited to see the interior of Yoda's hut, but today when it got revealed... I realize this is it. This is all there is to the interior, and it's got a very disappointingly small interior. Like, you think with as much space as they have on this set that they could get a bigger interior than just, like, this little bed and a little snake and a little spot for the lightsaber. Like, I just... I wish it was bigger. I don't know. Of course, it's got a nice Star Wars scroll on the bottom there, as well as, obviously, the black border. Overall, for 80 bucks, I honestly think this is a really, really good price, and it's a very clean-looking model. Like, I honestly really enjoy the look of this. It was one that I had pretty high expectations going into, and I think it delivered. It's good. Lastly, we have the Death Star Trash Compactor, which will retail for $100, which is just so disappointing, man. I think Caleb in the future just found out that it's $90, not $100. So I went on the whole spiel about that for nothing, but I do still think it's overpriced. I am impressed how it does have the feature to push the walls in. That is something that I did hope would come in the set, and alas, it, you know, it came in the set, which definitely is really good. Obviously, as a quote there, one thing's for sure, we're all gonna be a lot thinner, which I do kind of like, as well as the black border, of course, with all these other April sets. It has five minifigs, which I think is surprising, so it obviously has Luke, Leia, and Han in there. The back is honestly my favorite part of the set, where we have the little controls, and we have C-3PO and R2, and R2 has this incredible back printing, and C-3PO has this arm printing, which is like... It blew my mind when I saw the image. C-3PO is just one of those characters that I feel like has needed arm printing for a long time that I, I've always thought just looked great with arm printing. And alas, here we have it in 2022, guys, and man, it does it look good. Like, if there's any reason I would pick up this set, which I probably won't, it's honestly for these two figures. This is my favorite part of the set. Overall, for $100, way too expensive in my opinion. I don't know, I'm sure there will be the haters in the comments, but it's just, I don't know, it feels too expensive. But the R2 and C-3PO are definitely high as the set. In this afternoon, we have a leaked photo of the New Republic fighter tank, which I want to say is coming out in June. I'm definitely not positive on that, so please don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure it's coming out in June, otherwise August, but I'm pretty sure it's June. And 
I have a sneaking suspicion that this photo is fake because we've gotten so many fake leaks and photos over the past month or two by the same guy and obviously this isn't the same guy. It looks real, trust me, and most of me thinks it's real, but I don't want to be let down if it isn't real and it's fake because that would kind of suck. Obviously, it's pretty simple to make a fake model, fake minifigs, hire somebody's little cousin to come in and take photos with them, and that's it. That's the photo. Like, it feels like it'd be easily faked to me, and I just have this sneaking suspicion that it's fake. Like, I, I don't know. Nobody else in the lawyer community thinks it's fake but me, and I probably am wrong, but if I am right, that would just be incredible, so I kind of hope I'm right, but yeah, it feels fake, and I, I don't know why. Anyhow, I don't have a ton to say on the actual, like, tank itself, I mean, it looks really good in my opinion, like, it's surprisingly good, we've got the mace window, I believe it was in the gunship, as well as two battle droids, and two of these really, really cool purple droids, and that's honestly part of why it feels fake to me. I don't know why, man, but some about these figures, just, it feels kind of sketchy to me, and I just, I don't trust this whole photo for some reason, and I'm honestly sure I'm probably wrong, but I'm going with my guns here, and, um, yeah, we'll see where it takes me. That is all of the new 2022 sets that we have pictures of. Let me know what you guys are most excited for in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching so much. Super Production is on for now. Make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to stay up to date with my latest content. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace out.